What's up guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Today we've got some interesting news about the all new C8 Corvette. We finally know the quarter mile times for the C8 thanks to this latest leak. Now, before we get to that, I'm gonna explain where I actually got this information. So over on the Corvette forum, a user posted this. Unbelievable C8 info. Rushed pictures of a page in a booklet from a Detroit GM engineer I spoke to at Corvettes at Carlisle. Sorry for the quality, I was very rushed and couldn't even touch the booklet. Basically, this individual managed to get a sneak peek at a booklet that highlighted almost every single metric about this new car. And most importantly, you can see right there the quarter mile time for the 2020 Corvette LT2. Again though guys, I want to make this very clear, this information is not confirmed. But assuming this all is true, this new C8 Corvette will go through the quarter mile in 11.3 seconds, and it will have a trap speed of 121 miles per hour. I think that's very impressive, especially considering this is a base model C8 Corvette. Without a doubt, we will have more high performance variants that will come out within a few years. Just think about what a C8 Z06 could do even a ZR1. For being a base model Corvette, that time is very surprising. However, what's not so good is that below that you will see the braking distance for this car is 115 feet. And for the Z51 performance package, it's 108, which is worse than the C7 Corvette. The good news is though, it says the zero to 60 for this car is three seconds flat. Now I think that refers to the normal base model C8. And if you do pay the $5,000 extra for the Z51 performance package, your zero to 60 time is below three seconds, that being 2.9 seconds. The normal Corvette is just a 10th of a second off. And then right below that, we do see the top speed, which is a confirmed top speed of 193 miles per hour, which is still good, but it is still slower than the C7. Now let's move on to the engine. I know a lot of people out there that are wondering what is the horsepower of a normal C8 versus one with the performance enhanced exhaust. And it seems like we finally know it. Looking at this booklet, it shows two different numbers. The first one being 490 and the second one being 495. This leads us to believe the 490 number is the horsepower number for the normal C8. So that's going to be very interesting. Okay, so for cars that have the performance package on it with the high performance exhaust, you gain five horsepower. Is that really going to be a good selling piece though? Now, if you wanted the most track ready version of this car, then the Z51 is going to be the car to get. You get more horsepower, bigger brakes, better aerodynamics for the track, enhanced cooling, and more. Overall, it's going to be the fastest C8 at the racetrack currently. That is before the Z06 or even the Grand Sport. Please let me know what you guys think. Do you think the Z51 performance package is worth $5,000 extra? And also, do you think the high performance exhaust is worth $2,000? I'm not too sure if it's really going to be worth the extra money for your average buyer. Please let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. This booklet also lays out the weight figures for each version of this new C8. We finally know the weight for each model of the C8 Corvette. So initially, we have the coupe which weighs 3,535 pounds. And then we have the Z51 equipped model, which weighs in at 3,577 pounds. If you do want the lightest C8 possible, then the base model is going to be the spec to get. However, scrolling down even more, we now know the weight of the convertible, which comes in at over 100 pounds more than the normal base model. The convertible weighs 3,637 pounds. And whoa, that, that's shocking. The DCT weighs 341 pounds. I did not expect the DCT to weigh that much. That really does show you just how much more a DCT weighs compared to a manual Corvette. If we did get a manual C8, it would weigh a lot less. I'm guessing a manual C8 would weigh 3,400 pounds or so. I really do hope Chevy doesn't completely kill off the manual transmissions because the DCTs are fantastic, they're super quick. At the same time though, I think a lot of people out there would argue that manuals are a lot more fun to drive. 
There's also one other performance statistic I want to talk about, that being the max lateral G's of this new Corvette. So for the base model, the max lateral G's is going to be 0.9, and for the Z51 it's going to be 1G flat. This gives us a good idea at how well this new Corvette can corner, allowing us to compare it against its competition. All in all, I think this new Corvette is going to be a very surprising car, especially when it comes to driving it. A mid-engine affordable American performance car. It's going to be so exciting. I honestly can't wait to start seeing these things, especially even on the racetrack. It's also interesting in how this DCT has really struck the American performance car market. That being the new Shelby GT500 also has a Tremec DCT, and both cars are automatic only. Even the new Hellcat Red Eye that car is going to be in automatic. No manuals will be available. It seems like the day is going to be soon upon us. The day when there are no more high performance manual cars that you can buy. What do you guys think about that? Overall, I think this leak is very surprising. I did not see this coming whatsoever. For somebody to actually be able to sneak a few photos when it comes to a CA Corvette handbook is just a total shock. The real question is though, is it real? It does look like it could be, and from most of the people who have seen it on the forums, they believe it's real. But the thing is, we still don't know for sure. If this is real though guys, I really do want to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section down below, are you impressed with these numbers? Is 11.3 for the quarter mile a good time? Thinking about it, it is faster than a manual C7Z06, a car that weighs a lot less, has a lot more horsepower, and is also a lot more expensive. If the base model C8 is running these times, then what can the next generation Z06 or ZR1 do? By the looks of it, this car does have what it takes to compete with the supercar competition when it comes to performance. The one thing we're gonna have to hope for though is for Chevy to not price this car like a supercar. Most exotic supercars cost close to $200,000. And already with the base model, with all the options, it can cost well over $100,000. Hopefully the new Z06 and even ZR1 doesn't cost close to 200 grand. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap up this video when it comes to these photos of this CA Corvette booklet. And also if you guys didn't know this, we are ordering a new CA Corvette for the channel. Currently we've opted for a Z51 C8 and we are going to be comparing it against the new Shelby GT500. So stay tuned for that, it's going to be so much fun. The car should be delivered very soon and we are definitely going to be taking it onto the racetrack. This is going to be my first Corvette ever. I'll be providing for a new, unique look at the car. As of now though, I'm still trying to narrow down my order because the price list just came out and I'm trying to keep my build very affordable because we're going to be getting the new GT500 as well which is going to be a lot more money in comparison, I think. Speaking of the new GT500 though, we still don't know how fast that car is going to be. All Ford has really said is that it goes zero to 60 in three and a half seconds, and also it goes zero to 100 back to zero in 10.6 seconds. We still don't know the quarter mile time other than that it's under 11 seconds. So cross your fingers guys that Ford finally does reveal all the final performance specs of this new car. A few things though are just a given. This new C8 Corvette is going to weigh a lot less than the new GT500. A leaked guide came out recently stating that this new GT500 weighs 4,225 pounds. If that is true, then this new Corvette weighs 700 pounds less than the GT500. And it's also another thing we know for sure, that being this new Corvette goes 0 to 60 faster than the GT500. Under 3 seconds 0 to 60 for the new C8 versus mid 3s for the GT500. So stay tuned guys, we're going to have a lot of crazy content with the new GT500 and the C8 Corvette going head to head, especially at the racetrack and even at the quarter mile. Even though these two cars aren't aimed at each other, I do think though that the C8 Corvette and the GT500 are good competitors when it comes to the price. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about these leaked photos of this booklet of the C8 Corvette? Is it in fact real? I'd love to know what you guys think. Also make sure to hit that like button, it really does help me out. And subscribe for much more great videos to come. I'll see all of you in the next episode.